all right in this video we'll understand the basics of lambda also we'll be doing the hands-on using lambda to automate the state of ec2 instance that is we'll be changing the state of ec2 instance so let's first dive into the theory part so lambda is basically a serverless compute service we got to keep in mind that we don't have to take care of the underlying infrastructure like kind of uh, patching and updates for lambda next important point is that the maximum execution time for lambda is 15 minutes if any of our workloads require more than 15 minutes then lambda is not the fit we need to keep in mind next is that like we can write the code in uh, most of the like supported languages popular languages uh, especially python c sharp uh, for uh, writing the lambda code also some of the use cases can be for lambda is like building chatbots cron jobs uh, you know like if you're into data engineering we can uh, schedule jobs to run uh, kind of uh, different uh, etl jobs it can be used also like uh, one of the use case is image processing uh, where we can uh, resize the image as per our needs and also like in the authentication it can uh, help with the amazon cognito so let's now dive into some hands-on all right let's start with the hands-on we'll first begin with uh, creating ec2 instance we'll start everything from the scratch we'll be creating two ec2 instances let's uh, launch the instance uh, we'll uh, write it like ec2 lambda uh, change state so let's uh, give the number as 2 because we are spinning two instance simultaneously we'll uh, lock everything as default that is uh, linux uh, aws linux t2 micro we don't need a key pair because we are not SSHing into the machine this time we are just uh, changing the state we'll keep everything as default and launch the two instances while this is in progress uh, we can alternatively like uh, duplicate this tab and open uh, go back here and we'll we need to like go to lambda to automate the things we'll search lambda so let's now create a function uh, to change uh, the uh, state of this uh, like we'll click on create function let's give it a name like function name let's give cloud guru amit ec2 let's uh, select the version so the code which i have written is in uh, compatible with python 3.8 so let's uh, move down well uh, i've already created a, a rule so you need a, a rule uh, so that it uh, can have the access so let's uh, check uh, what uh, this rule has in im as well so let's uh, go to the im console to help you explain what this uh, rule will do so let's uh, go to the rule section we can uh, search the by by the name let's open this let's expand this and uh, check what's uh, there in the uh, rule so if we uh, look here so we we got uh, the permissions to uh, like fetch stop or uh, run instance and terminate ec2 instances so that what this uh, rule is all about now uh, let's go back to this uh, function uh, aws uh, lambda will uh, create function so the rule is required because the lambda is basically uh, will change the state like what it will does it will uh, change uh, the state so let's let me just uh, copy paste uh, this code uh, this document will be available for diamond members and above so let's go to the function so let's paste this and uh, now let me explain you what it will do so if you look here 
so it's uh, fetching all the uh, instances uh, which are in our aws console so if you look here so currently we have uh, two instances with the same name but only the uh, instance ids are uh, different you can uh, see so i'll be changing the state of uh, one of the instance uh, let me stop the first one it doesn't matter any one we can uh, stop so uh, it's in progress so let me now explain uh, the code so uh, it will check first it will check okay if any instance state is running let me uh, go uh, see this instance state is currently running so if uh, this is uh, uh, running then it will stop the instance instance dot stop on the other hand if the instance state is like uh, already stopped then it will terminate the instance so basically what this code does if instance state is in running state it will move the state to the stop and if it is already stopped state currently then it will be uh, like in terminated state after the lambda function so we can see this is stopped and this is running so after the execution this uh, should be terminated the since the instance it is stopped this should be terminated and for this instance since it's in currently in running state so this should move to stop state so let's uh, deploy this uh, function so uh, before running any function we need to uh, deploy otherwise changes won't be saved so i'll be uh, purposely doing uh, one mistake uh, this will fail in three seconds i i'll uh, let me first show you uh, then i'll rectify uh, this because unless you encounter a mistake you won't learn so let's uh, uh, give it a name i'll uh, give it a name uh, amit uh, ec2 we can uh, write any name for the event save it now we are uh, good we can uh, test so it should fail in three seconds i'm doing it purposely see so if we look at the error message it's uh, timed out at three seconds so you just got to remember that uh, there's a like uh, one golden rule which i follow that uh, we need to change the timeout second by default it's three second always when you are requesting any kind of uh, aws services be it athena using lambda make it minimum six seconds so this i have uh, learned from uh, my experience uh, from uh, the cloud that uh, if you give six seconds uh, most perhaps uh, it will succeed so let's uh, change the timeout value to six seconds now uh, we'll again uh, go back to the code so now uh, let's again uh, try to test it see it's executing this time and if you look this time it succeeded error code uh, like status code is 200 it's uh, say mentioned success uh, that means success so now if we check the state it should see one is stopping and one is already terminated so that's uh, what is the purpose of the demo to change uh, the state and it's 100 percent working so one can answer a question like what is the use case of this so let's say it's a weekend weekend is approaching it's friday there are hundreds and thousands of instances so you definitely don't need to terminate everything if uh, because terminating uh, might be a problem but you uh, since we are charged everything for the cloud even for the computing part so we can stop an instance so in the code uh, if uh, if you just uh, check uh, the uh, like you can utilize one of the part that if it is running state this part this code you can write uh, automate that if any instance is running on uh, like friday so you can just trigger this function so hundreds of instances you can stop and you can save cost for the compute part though you will be definitely charged for the ebs volume attached to the instance but that can't be uh, taken care but you can definitely save some cost for the compute part which won't be utilized during saturdays and sundays because uh, that's an uh, like office holiday might be so that is one of the use case of this function i hope uh, you found this uh, tutorial helpful